guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I have a whole basket full of food items that I got at Dollar Tree. We are going to cook these up and put them to the taste test. If this sounds like something interesting to you, then just keep watching. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. The first thing that I wanna try are a couple of the fried foods. So I have in my hand the mozzarella sticks. I frequently buy mozzarella sticks at the grocery store. So I'm curious what this looks like inside the package. You get seven mozzarella sticks, which is an unusual number, but it is certainly enough for a serving. When you go into a restaurant and order mozzarella sticks, you're lucky if you can get them for $5.99 or $6.99. So if these have a good flavor and texture, I'm all about them. Them. Let's see how they cook up. This little air fryer is the most used appliance in my kitchen. I did get this at Walmart, by the way, and if I can find this on the Walmart website, I will link it in the description box below. Another one of my favorite Dollar Tree finds are these Reynolds Wrap sheets. They are pre-cut. You just pop one out when you need it. Here's our air fryer basket. I lined it with the foil and then I sprayed it with a little bit of cooking spray. You can use any cooking spray that you have. So I'm just going to add the mozzarella sticks. And whenever I'm using an air fryer, I try to space them out a little bit just so that the air circulates. I popped these into the air fryer at 375 degrees. I'm going to try cooking them for just about five to seven minutes. If you don't have an air fryer, it's no big deal. You can just as easily cook these in a traditional oven. I'm going to use this tomato sauce that I got at Dollar Tree as my dipping sauce. This is, of course, a nationally known brand. This is Hunt's, and this is the pasta sauce with garlic and herb. I haven't tried this particular one, so I thought it was the perfect time to try this with the mozzarella sticks. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and put it on the stove to warm. Our sauce is heating up nicely. I'm just going to give this a stir. After just a couple of minutes, I pulled out the tray to give it a shake, and I can tell that these are already cooked through. You can see how some of the cheese is poking through. That often happens with cheese sticks. Let's go ahead and plate these up and taste. Here's how they look plated. The white plate that they're on I also picked up at the Dollar Tree. I think it's the perfect appetizer dish. Let's see how these taste. I let these cool just enough so that I don't hurt myself. If you eat mozzarella sticks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pick up a little bit of this sauce. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Not only is the cheese flavor good, this sauce is surprisingly good. The next thing that I want to try are the Snaps Loaded Potato Sticks. Here's what the loaded potato sticks look like in the package. And again, there is that odd number of seven, which I find peculiar. But if they're delicious, I can certainly overlook that. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer just like I did with the mozzarella sticks. While we're waiting for the loaded potato sticks to cook in the air fryer, I decided to pour some homemade iced tea in this cute glass. And I want to tell you about one of my all-time favorite snack foods from Dollar Tree. This is the fire-roasted sweet corn. This is delicious and crunchy and tastes just like roasted corn on the cob. I love this so much. You can see that there's a price sticker on it for $1.89. Full disclosure, I may or may not eat this entire bag off camera in between cooking. You'll never know. Mm, I love this popcorn but back to cooking. I did that I wanted to use sour cream for the dipping sauce this time because that's how I like baked potatoes. I did garnish each of these plates with just a little bit of fresh parsley. I just like the contrast of color. And you can see that there's some cheesy goodness coming out of these. I wanna break one in half to show you the inside. This is just cooled enough for me to be able to handle it. You can actually see the steam coming off of it. And that's what they look like on the inside. The package says that these are real baked potato, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and flavored with bacon in a crispy golden coating. I have to say that I don't see a lot of the bacon action. That doesn't offend me. As long as it tastes good, I'm in. Let's see what they taste like. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the sour cream. I can definitely feel the potato texture. 
These have a really nice texture. The thing that I notice the most is the strong cheddar cheese flavor. I personally love cheddar cheese, but I definitely taste the cheese over any other flavor. The next thing that I wanna try is this Red Baron Scramble. Red Baron is a national brand. I have had their larger pizzas, but I've never had this particular one. This is definitely a single serving. It will make a quick and easy snack. And this says that it is a sauce sausage scramble, a crust topped with gravy, sausage, scrambled eggs, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese. I'm going to go ahead and bake this and then I'll come back and we'll give it a taste. Here's what the Red Baron scramble looks like fresh out of the oven. The crust reminds me almost of a quiche. It's not quite a pizza crust and it's not quite a pie crust either, but I have had the regular Red Baron in the grocery store and I'm kind of used to this texture. Wow, this one took me by surprise. Even though I read the label to you initially, I was still surprised to find that there is a sausage and gravy texture to this. I want to bring this in really close to show you. I love sausage and gravy, and I was really worried that this would be dry to look at it. It is not dry at all. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, maybe one more bite. I am hoping that my camera is picking this up, but there is a layer of white gravy under the sausage that gives this the definite mouthfeel of sausage and gravy. I also want to point out that this particular one looks just like the picture. Oftentimes the picture of food looks one way and then the food itself looks different. If anything, I would say that this actually looks better in person than it does in the picture. Let's cook and taste the next item. The next thing that we're going to try are the Baker's Best Baked Soft Pretzels. This is what they look like out of the packaging, and I'm going to give them an A plus that it's an even number. So you get six pretzels and the salt along with the directions. The directions say to moisten the pretzel and then sprinkle with salt, and it tells you not to eat the entire packet of salt. I wasn't going to, but okay. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on. Okay, maybe a lot. Let me show you. That's what it looks like before it's baked, and I'll be back in just a moment with it piping hot. I just pulled this out of the oven. This only baked for three minutes, and it was already golden brown. Even though this was only in the oven for three minutes, it did pick up a nice crust. I'm going to have mine with some spicy mustard. To feel this, it definitely has the right texture. It's crispy on the outside. I'm going to pick up a little bit of mustard. I have to confess that I thought I might have to recuse myself from judging a soft pretzel because of my proximity to Philadelphia. This is surprisingly good. The salt crystals on this add a little bit of a crunch. The texture is really nice. I can't believe these are a dollar. And with that said, I'm having another bite. My husband is getting ready to walk in the door from work and I'm going to sit this aside and move on to the next item. I have a feeling when I turn around it's going to be gone. The next thing that I want to try are these cream cheese pepper bites. This is what they look like in the package. You get eight poppers. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer. Here's what the poppers look like directly out of the oven. These cooked up nice and golden brown. On the outside of the box, it shows it with a tomato sauce, so that's how I'm going to serve it. Let's break one open and see what they look like inside. And you can see the cream cheese and the jalapeno. I'm curious to see how hot these are. I will say that there looks like there's a good amount of jalapeno. It's minced up inside. It is not the traditional popper that's made with a whole jalapeno. This does look like it has a pretty good ratio of the crispy exterior and then the cream cheese and the jalapeno. Let's see what they taste like. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this tomato sauce. These are surprisingly tasty and the interior is very creamy. If I had to say how hot these are, I would describe them as medium. They are definitely not mild and they are not I'm on fire hot, somewhere in between, which is a nice flavor. Mm. I would definitely buy these again. The next thing that we're going to try are these spring rolls. 
Full disclaimer, I did not know that these existed until I heard a customer standing next to me in Dollar Tree say, oh no, they're out of the spring rolls. So I dug through the case and found some. Here's what they look like inside the package while frozen and winner, winner, chicken dinner, we have an even number so there are 10. I'm going to pop these in the air fryer and I'll be right back. This is what the spring rolls look like fresh out of the oven. They are still sizzling as I stand here. I was curious about the filling so I wanted to see exactly what they're filled with and it says that it is cabbage, carrots, mushrooms, green beans, vermicelli, mung bean water, salt, spice, vegetable oil, palm, peanut, sesame, soy, potato starch, and then the crust is wheat flour and water. These cooked up really flaky and crisp. You can hear it. I definitely see carrot and some vegetables. I don't have a dipping sauce for these in the house, but I will tell you what I almost always do. Whenever I get Chinese food out, I save the little packets. And a lot of times you get one that's yellow that says duck sauce, it's a sweet sauce. I would use that as a dipping sauce. I've already eaten those packets here, but it's just a tip for having a dipping sauce for these. Let's see what these taste like. Mm. Okay, now I know why that other customer was looking for these. These are really good. They have a really good crunch. It doesn't just taste like a fried wonton. I can taste the vegetables. There's a nice crispy exterior and then the inside is creamy with well-seasoned vegetables. I would definitely buy these again. The next thing that we're going to try is called Alice's Caribbean Kitchen Jamaican Spicy Beef Patties. This is what they look like right out of the package frozen. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm going to go pop these in the air fryer. Here's what the Jamaican spicy beef patties look like fresh out of the oven and you can see that they turned a golden brown. It does say that these are fully cooked and spicy hot. Now I don't eat a lot of hot food so I'm a little bit nervous about this. I can definitely smell the spices on these. The directions say not to overheat these or the crust will get hard. This is just the perfect texture. It's a little bit crumbly. And you can see that the meat inside is minced. Okay, these have a little bit of a kick to them. I'm breaking into a sweat. I immediately get the curry when I bite into this. It is a really nicely blended seasoning. It's just a little hotter than I'm used to. It tastes good in small doses, like to take a bite like this, but I certainly couldn't eat a whole serving of these. These would tear me up. However, if you like spicy food, these might be for you. The next thing that we're going to try, I look at every time I'm in Dollar Tree. This is by the brand Tombstone, so that is a national brand as far as pizzas go. And this is the pepperoni pizza stick. This seems like it would be the perfect size for a snack. Let's see how this cooks up. This is what it looks like frozen straight out of the package. Here's what the pizza stick looks like right out of the oven. It is extremely hot and it does say on the wrapper to let this cool for two minutes. I have also noticed that every one of these freezer products say that you can microwave them. I personally prefer to take a couple of extra minutes and do it in an oven. I think it gives them a better texture. This pizza stick smells amazing. You can see that it got nice and golden brown and it has a nice crust to it. Let's crack this open and see what it looks like on the inside. And it looks like there's a good amount of chopped up pepperoni in that. Let's give this a taste. After doing all this eating in this video, I may never want to do a fashion video again. This is a lot of fun to get to try to taste all this. So let's get a little bit of sauce. The texture of these is really nice. These have a good ratio of sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. I have to say that I don't care for the sauce that is in the pizza sticks. I like it dipped in the sauce on the side, but the sauce that's inside isn't my favorite. The next thing that we're going to make is probably the one that I am the most curious about because it's a lobster roll. This is what it looks like out of the package and I can tell to look at it that it is fully cooked and will only need to be heated. I'm curious to see if this gets crispy and I can't wait to see what this looks like on the inside. I'm going to pop this into the air fryer. 
Here's what the lobster roll looks like fresh out of the oven. It does have a nice crisp coating, and of course part of that is because I am cooking all of these in an air fryer. I didn't notice it when I first showed you the lobster roll out of the packaging. It did come with a packet of sauce. To me it looks like a watered down version of duck sauce, and in fact, if I had had this when I made the spring rolls, I probably would have used this with the spring rolls instead. Since it came with the lobster roll, I am going to taste it. It really doesn't seem to go together to me, but let's find out. So let's crack this open and see what it looks like on the inside. And you can see that it's nice and flaky. There's what it looks like on the inside. I really didn't expect to see chunks of lobster in this, but I don't see any lobster in this. I think it's more lobster flavored. Let's see how it tastes though. It has a nice texture. It did crisp up nicely. The texture of the filling is also pleasant. Overall, it has a good flavor. I just wouldn't describe it as a lobster flavor, if you know what I mean. Now I wanna taste the sauce. I caught just a touch of this when I filled it into this little bowl, and I wasn't a fan, but I'm just curious. Now maybe it's because I don't have much of a sweet tooth in general. But I don't think that the sauce really does anything for this. Oftentimes when I eat stuff like this, I like to have a dipping sauce. I just don't care for the particular sauce that they put in with this. It is definitely worth a dollar. Do I eat it and think of lobster? No. Now that we've cooked and tasted everything, I want to give you my overall impressions and let you know which of these I would buy again and which I would pass on. I thought that the mozzarella sticks were delicious. They had a really good flavor, a really good texture, and for just one dollar, I would definitely give those a thumbs up. I will buy them again. The spring rolls easily equaled spring rolls that I have bought that I have paid four and five times more for. They had a nice crispy texture, and I thought that the filling was perfectly balanced. My only criticism, I wish they came with a little packet of sauce, but as I mentioned, I saved the little packets of sauce from Chinese takeout, so that's not a deal breaker. I would 100% buy the spring rolls again. The cream cheese poppers were much better than I expected. They had a nice crispy exterior and the interior was nice and creamy. I also found the ratio of cream cheese to jalapeno to be just right. They had about a moderate level of heat, not too hot but not too wimpy either. I will definitely buy those again. I did not expect to like the soft pretzels nearly as much as I did, but I have to tell you that I was the most surprised by them. The texture was amazing. They had a nice crisp exterior and that slightly chewy interior very similar to Philadelphia pretzels. I cannot believe that you get six of those pretzels plus the salt for one dollar. I am definitely buying those again. If I were rating all of these items on a good, better, or best, in the middle category I would put the Red Baron Sausage Scramble. I was pleasantly surprised that it was reminiscent of sausage gravy. Because I love sausage gravy so much, I actually thought that was very tasty. I would definitely buy those again. The Jamaican beef patties, although very flavorful, were a little too hot for me. I also found the curry to be overpowering, and I cook with curry all of the time. If you love curry, you will love those. I don't see me buying those again just because it's my personal taste, but I do recommend them if you like that flavor profile. Out of all of the frozen items that we tasted today, by far my least favorite, and I thought it would be up there at the top of the list, was the tombstone pizza stick. Luckily, I had sauce already heated up that I could dip it in. I did not care for the flavor inside of the pizza stick. I just didn't care for the overall flavor of those. I hope that you enjoyed this roundup of frozen Dollar Tree foods. I had a lot of fun making it, and I am stuffed. I'm pretty sure that my husband's not getting dinner tonight, but I digress. I still have several items that weren't frozen. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a video on those. Since this video is about food, I decided to show you my favorite tableware from this season at Dollar Tree. This is in store now. It's been in store a while, but just in case you haven't checked it out, I want to show you a couple of pieces. The placemat and hand towel is what started this entire portion of this video. When I saw this striking pattern across the store, I wanted to get a closer look. I love everything about this print. 
I love the paisley pattern. It has pretty pops of lime green, cobalt blue, sea foam. I think it is so pretty and perfect for summer. They also have the matching dish towel. Here's the coordinating dinner plate. I have to be honest, I wouldn't put this plate on the placemat that I just showed you because I really feel like that is too matchy-matchy, but I picked this up to mix and match with a couple of solids, which I will also show you. Here's a matching bowl. This would be perfect for cereal or for ice cream. Random side note, if you're curious about my nails, I will link a video in the cards above that I just did on them. Let me show you some more pieces. In the same pattern, they also have a salad plate. And here's the matching coffee mug. Now this glass doesn't exactly match the pattern, but it has the same color palette. So I would definitely use these together. On the front, it says bloom where you are planted. And then on the back, it has this fun bicycle. How cute is that? I also picked up dinnerware in solid colors. This one has a pretty embossing. These remind me so much of the Fiesta ware that costs a lot more, and I cannot get over the quality of these Dollar Tree dishes. Here's a look at the dinner plate with the coordinating placemat. And then to mix up the colors and patterns, I also picked up this fun lime green. I love this combination so much. Here's another bowl in a solid color that goes with our color palette. And here's the coordinating mug. I love to mix and match all of the pieces that I just showed you and make a fun, colorful table. Now, if you're here just for the food items from Dollar Tree, I totally get it. I'm going to talk about my outfit of the day. So for those of you leaving now, I just want to say goodbye and I'll see you next time. Now, for those of you that don't know, I typically do fashion videos on this channel, specifically fashion videos for us ladies over 50 that still want to look put together and stylish, but we want it to be affordable, right? My favorite videos to film are Walmart hauls and try-ons. The top that I have on was one of my all-time favorite Walmart finds. I originally picked it up in this gorgeous cobalt blue color, and as soon as I saw it on, I went back and I picked up the coral. This top is made out of a comfortable t-shirt knit. I love the length of the sleeve. I'm not the biggest fan of showing my upper arms, and this is the perfect length. It hits just about elbow length for me. This top also has a semi-fit to it. It has a good amount of stretch, and I think that it's overall flattering. This top has a rounded neckline, and at the time that I bought it, it was $8.44. If I can find any of the pieces that I'm talking about on the Walmart website, by the way, I will list them in the description box below. The jewelry that I have on, this is clearance rack pieces from Walmart as well. I picked up the earrings and the bracelet that I'm wearing for $1 each. The shorts that I have on are my newest favorite shorts for this season, hands down. I meant to mention that the top and the shorts are by the brand Time & True. I have had a lot of luck with that brand. They are stylish and affordable, but I digress. These shorts are a pull-on style, so they make it flat in the tummy area. They have a good amount of stretch. I easily got them on over my hips. These have about a five inch inseam. I would have preferred maybe a couple of inches longer, but overall, I really enjoy these. They have a nice stretchy waistband, and because it's a wide waistband, it kind of smooths out this area. I love to wear these with a top like this. The beach bag that I'm carrying, I picked up at the beginning of the season in store. I love the colors in this bag. I find that this bag goes with everything. It has big, generous outer pockets. You can put a water bottle or a cell phone. It also has a secure pocket inside. I think I paid about $12 or $15 for this bag, and I have been using this every day to carry everything. I love it so much. The hat that I show in the try-ons that you're no doubt watching off to the side 
is this straw woven fedora style. I have a lot of big floppy sun hats, but sometimes I like to have a smaller brim and this one fit the bill. I did pick this up for around $12.97. I love hats in the summer for a couple of reasons. I like to protect my face from sunburn and also when it gets hot and humid, my hair gets crazy frizzy so I can put on a hat, look like I'm trying to be chic, but I'm actually covering up a bad hair day. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend with me. I truly appreciate it. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and also consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell. That way you'll see my future videos. Until next time, bye guys.